What's the last thing that you'd park with? I once asked a cowboy pal. Expected him to tell me why that hoss in yon corral. Or maybe that brand new saddle he'd worked for years to get. Possibly his granddad's spurs or that silver inlaid bit. Some of the fancy rawhide gear hanging in his saddle shed or maybe even his roping skill or that pretty girl he'd wed. Well, a hundred things went through my mind from boots to cold hard cash, but the thing he promptly answered was this handlebar mustache. Took 35 long years, you see, to finally get her growed. And though it's vain, I kind of like this old mustachio. And there's hundreds out there like them on the Western cattle range that cultivate this facial hair, and it ain't about to change. Oh, the things can be a nuisance when the wintertime rolls in. You got two great big chunks of ice hanging way down past your chin. And in a while, your cold red nose will start to run and dribble. And before you get your mittens off, that freezes in the middle. Your napkin gets a workout when the menu soup or stew, and it sometimes gets discolored with tobacco if you chew. Then there's a the long recovery time when it's singed by a Brandon fire, or a Madden wife with vice-like grim should demonstrate her ire. Say you're shoeing horses and your bronc sets up a clamor, and one handlebar gets caught twixt claws on the downstroke of your hammer. Oh, the trials and tribulations of a man with a mustache are just the dues you have to pay to possess that bit more dash. To receive the looks of wonder and awe from a kid with a peach fuzz lip or little babies that don't control themselves and reach and get hope of it. But you know that it's all worth it and you feel that you've come far when you see that dashing buckaroo in the mirror where you are. Oh, at times you might hear whispers, and them out of range make cracks, but just straighten up, pull out your tube and add a little wax. That's a cowboy poem called Prized Possession by Joel Nelson.